Full disclosure, despite our best efforts, sometimes we simply don't get to spend as much time with a new vehicle as we'd like. This is one of those cases. In fact, we're convinced that on a busy pre-Thanksgiving weekend, we've logged more miles lapping the Trader Joe's parking lot that we did in the Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid and Honda Clarity F. Still, these are neat, important vehicles for Honda and the changing landscape of powertrains, so let's sit back and talk about cars and the future and what we want out of life anyways. As you're likely aware, Honda's Clarity line of sedans is the tip of the spear the company is using to stab into the murky darkness of near-future mobility. A trident, actually, the Clarity fuel cell, Clarity plug-in hybrid, and the Clarity F. The thinking from Honda is that each of these powertrains is best for a certain customer, and by satisfying all of the needs, they reach the most customers. Makes sense. Hydrogen pending and appropriate infrastructure is best for zero emissions, long-range driving. The plug-in hybrid is best for those with short commutes who occasionally take long trips, and the EV, with a range of 80 miles or more, is best for, uh, virtually no one. Okay, that last bit of thinking is ours and not Honda's. But we're sticking with it. 80 miles. That's almost enough to drive from Ann Arbor to Detroit. In perfectly cool weather that doesn't negatively impact the battery's performance or require you to use VAC. This is approximately the same range as the Fiat 500e, which is a California compliance car that has leased deals we once described as almost free. It's about 50% less range than the 2017 e-Golf and 70% less than you'd get with a Chevy Bolt. It's simply not enough for a car that is positioned as an upscale family vehicle. Not when there's another car in the same showroom, for roughly the same price, with 42 miles of electric range and a 1.5-liter four-cylinder riding back up for total range of 340 miles. Perhaps this is all ringing a little repetitive to you. If so, it's because our own Joel Stocksdale made this exact case back in April. Unfortunately, having now driven it, we can confirm that Joel's assessment was dead on. Both the 2017 Clarity Electric and the 2018 Clarity FEV have the same upscale, bland but frustration-free interior as the Clarity fuel cell we drove back in March, and also the same attention to packaging as the hydrogen Clarity. Trunks have usable space, and there's no preposterous humps or tunnels hiding bundles of batteries. The case for the EV could be made if the plug-in version had the storage space of a toaster or if it shed some of the niceties to save weight. It doesn't. It's functionally the same car until you get it out on the road. And then it's better. Foot flat from dead zero in the Clarity EV is everything you expect from an approximately 4,000 pound sedan being powered by a 161 horsepower motor. There's the now traditional instant torque gratification that drops off right around 30 miles per hour. It continues to accelerate from that point with all of the enthusiasm of a line at the DMV. Few people will actively complain about the acceleration, and even fewer will actively praise it. The plug-in, on the other hand, gets a little more overall power, 181 horsepower, and a little or more torque, 232 pound-feet versus 221, and a whole lot more emotion. There are two ways to floor it in the fev. One, duh, is to just stomp that. <laughs>